everybody. I'm here with Devon Franklin to talk about the new movie, Breakthrough. Really excited about this. It's good. It looks like an amazing movie. Yeah. So yeah. tell me, what moved you about this movie that wanted to, made you take this project on? Yeah, you know, I was promoting my other film, There Was From Heaven, a couple of years ago, a movie that I produced. And uh, while I was promoting that, I stumbled upon the story, the okay. true story of Joy Smith praying her son John Smith back to life. And uh, I was, you know, there being interviewed on this program. Before I was interviewed, uh, the real family, you know, the real Joy Smith, the real John Smith, and the real pastor Jason Noble were being interviewed. And after the program was over, man, I was like, I gotta tell the story. And so I went up over to them. I introduced myself, told them who I was, what I would love to do. I'd love to, you know, produce their movie and help get them a book deal. And they were very open to the process uh, because I was just blown away that, uh, you know, her son was dead. Uh, at 14 years old after drowning in a frozen lake. And then there she, you know, went into the emergency room and prayed back to life. I just couldn't believe that it. it was a true story. Yeah, it's and amazing. so it was so amazing that that's really what compelled me to want to bring this to the big screen. What was it like meeting the Smith for the first time? Uh, they were great. You know, Joyce is a force of nature. Uh, she's larger than life. I mean, everything that she is portrayed in the movie, that's how she is in real life. Okay. Uh, you know, John is just such an incredible, poised, a dynamic young man and Pastor Jason is just you know the life of the park a lot of fun great energy and incredibly sincere about ministering and so meeting them was a joy we're super close right now we talk almost that you know I'm talking to at least one of them almost every day uh, especially as we get closer to the release of the film. What do you think it is that makes it hard for people to believe in your uh, Because we don't always see them you know so often we're dependent on what we see with our natural sight to determine what we believe but I think that uh, in order to see a miracle, sometimes you have to have faith, which means belief in the unseen. And that's where faith really takes place because when you look and you're looking like this and sometimes you don't see the miracle, you may miss what really is a miracle hiding in plain sight. You know, the miracle of life, the miracle of waking up every day, uh, the miracle of being able to get to work, the miracle of being able to provide for ourselves, the miracle of having a meal to eat. Not everybody has that. So sometimes I think we may be looking for the big miracle so we don't see it. And as a result, we overlook the small miracles that are with us every day. Well said. Um, to me, this movie represents hope. How important do you feel like this movie is for what we're going through in America right now? Yeah, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the film, because, you know, John is uh, Latino. Uh, he was uh, adopted from Guatemala when he was six months old. Uh, and he was raised by in a, in a white, predominantly white environment. And what was amazing to me is that they're, they didn't hold his difference against him. You know, his community, his church, his family. Uh, as he grew older, even though he questioned his identity and why he wasn't wanted, you know, his mother would always say, you have a purpose and you're loved and you are wanted. Uh, and he would understand it, but it never really sunk in. And it wasn't until this incident where, you know, he was miraculously saved after falling through this uh, frozen lake uh, that he realized, I do have a purpose for my life. And part of that was because he saw the community and the church rally around him and the love of his mother really being the catalyst for that. So I do think this movie really models what happens when we put our differences aside, what happens when we come together, uh, what happens when we just love one another, one at a time, what that does, because John Smith now has a life, uh, he has a purpose, and so much of it is because the community rallied around him. So I do think in a time like this, where we're so divided, uh, we're so angry, we're pointing the finger, I believe this movie symbolizes what can happen when we don't do those things and we try to find the common good. I think love has a big part, or a big part to play in it. I remember one of the um, scenes from the movie, the guy said he didn't believe in God, but he's heard something say, go back in. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just think being able to pray and being able to just rally to love somebody enough to be able to bring that person back, I think that's a big thing. It is a huge thing. Yeah. It's a huge, huge thing. And, uh, and I think that's really where this story is incredibly compelling. In addition to, you know, Joyce Smith praying John back to life, the story where you see all the compassion of the different people, even, you know, pointing to Tommy Shine, the firefighter, who, who's played by Mike Coulter in the film, uh, you know, not believing, but knowing that he had an experience that even he can't quite explain. And no one in the community ostracizes him. They don't judge him. He's embraced. He's accepted for still struggling and working through his belief system and being on that journey. And sometimes I think we want to judge one another. We want to chastise, we want to condemn because someone may not be as far along as we want to, as we may be or may want to be. And I think the important thing is to not judge, to love, to make people feel accepted. I love that. What is the most important thing you want people to take away from this? 
I want people to take with hope. You know, life is uh, you know, dark, life is difficult. I want people to be hopeful. I want them to be, you know, like, wait, you know, there is a better day. In the impossible is possible. Um, faith absolutely works. And as a result, I can have hope. Where there may have been a hopeless situation, I want people to walk out of this movie feeling hope, feeling inspired, and realizing that they matter. I mean, I think that's so important. We all struggle, I think, with that in some way. Do we matter? Is what we do making a difference? Is there a destiny on our life? Will we ever walk in our dreams? And I think this movie will help bring some resolution to those things. And that's where I want people to walk away. Okay, I love that. Um, if you could give one word of encouragement, of hope to someone, what would it be? Um, I would say, you know, when you look at what happened in the movie, and the movie is titled Breakthrough, and Breakthrough is basically an obstacle being removed uh, out of your way so that you can have progress. And when you look at the movie, Joy Smith, uh, before she went into the emergency room to pray John back to life, she was doing a, a study of a book called by Beth Moore called Believing God. So she was practicing praying boldly and exploring what that meant. So before she went in the emergency room, there was a lot of preparation for the prayer that she gave. That's really important because if somebody is believing that their, their dream is going to happen and they don't see it, you can get discouraged. And when we get discouraged, we can be frustrated, we can be angry, uh, we can get depressed, we can have anxiety because the things that we're hoping for are not yet manifesting. What I would say, if you want a breakthrough in your life, if you want the obstacle to your progress to be removed, start preparing. Go from discouragement to determination. Get up every day and say, you know what, I may not be there yet, be, be there yet but I'm believing that it's going to happen. So as a result, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to do my work. I'm going to study no matter what field you're trying to go into so that when it does happen, you're ready. There's nothing worse than not being ready for an opportunity when it presents itself versus being ready so that whenever it happens, you're ready to make it happen. And I think when you look at breakthrough, that's why John Smith today has his life is because his mother was preparing. She was putting works behind her faith. And when it was time, she was ready to go into action. And as a result, John Smith is alive. And as a result, we're even talking about this movie. So I think it's really important for anyone out there who's struggling. Uh, we all struggle. We all go through it. But even as you go through it, keep going through it and prepare yourself along the way. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, make sure you guys check out Breakthrough in theaters. When we April 17th. April 17th. Yep. We are here with Devon Franklin. We definitely will be going to see this. Make sure you guys go see it. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Devon Franklin. And you are right here at Control Magazine. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, at Devon Franklin, D-E capital V-O-N Franklin. I'm also on Facebook, at Devon Franklin Official. And if you really want to go deep, come find me on my website, DevonFranklin.com, and join my mentor mail so I can inspire you on a regular basis and give you information to help your life, your relationship, and your career.